this is Dabu7. I've been getting a lot of emails and people concerned about this spiral that many are comparing to the Norway spiral that we witnessed years ago. Now, if you've been following my channel closely here throughout the years, I've covered several things like this. And what we've come to find out in many instances of things like this, it checks out to be some kind of rocket launch by someone. Many times here in the United States, off one of the coasts when we've seen this, people would freak out at first, then we come to find out that our military had launched a rocket, and uh, oftentimes they will put on this beautiful show in the sky when they hit certain parts of the atmosphere, and all these colors start to emit. Now, with the Norway spiral, there was a lot of confusion, a lot of questions. People had suggested that it was a rocket, but it was unofficial kind of classified and you weren't going to find anything else out about it this looks dang near i mean almost identical to that situation and what we're hearing is that after doing some digging here it looks like the chinese have launched a rocket and this this all took place friday night as people were witnessing this and it looks like all the timing of the launch the area and everything all right shalom first and foremost giving all praise to you how about shimmy how shy the Hashem, Rahakudash, with the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the men of the Lord, prophesying, preaching, and teaching on the highways and byways in sincerity and the truth. Shalom, Barakatham. And I uh, just wanted to get this lesson real quick. Uh, just to make a note on the spiral, uh, you heard Dabu. He basically is, uh, is saying that this is probably like a Chinese rocket, which. Uh, you know, Esau will say anything to cover up uh, the things that are going on outside in the heavens. But, you know, nevertheless, this did remind me of of the scriptures and what was going to happen, you know, when during the end, you know, we would see a lot of signs in heaven. We would see people bugging out. We would see chariots. We would see different particular signs, you know, planetary alignments, eclipses, which we saw Several eclipses this year, you know, we see uh, rare moons, all right, and and there's going to be more, and it's going to be to the point to where people uh, are going to are gonna bug out, all right? Now, I had Luke 21 first, but I'm going to give Jeremiah 10 first real quick. Um, it's going to be real brief. This is uh, Jeremiah 10 and 2. It says, Thus saith the Lord Jehovah, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them, because Esau, you know, all, all of these things, man, it, 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 it all goes back to idol worship. Whether you go to the, uh, to the old Greek pantheon um, uh, of Zeus and all those things, the 12 gods, you know, that goes, that, that goes heavily or is heavily linked to the 12 zodiacs. All right? And and you know, you have Rome, they had the 12 gods or their gods named after planets, Mars, different particular things of the heavens. You have astrology. You know, all of this is a form of idol worship and heathen have been into worshiping uh idols. You know, you had the star worship of the star Chiun uh in the scriptures. Star Remphan, things of things of that nature. Um, and the most I told us not to go into that thing, man, because he then get look up at the heavens and they they see something that they can't explain or understand. And it is a marvelous sight, but they'll look at it and, and, and look at it to see it as something to worship. But they don't know. They don't understand the scriptures that all of those things, those are written, you know, for signs, you know, as a matter of fact, I'm going to get that. I think that's in Genesis. That's Genesis 1, 14. Um. I believe. Yeah, Genesis 1 and 14, it says, And the Most High said, Let there be light and the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years, and let them be for light in the firmament of the heaven to give light up on the earth. And it was so. All right. Now that's all the light. Those are all going to be for signs. Then it says below in verse 16, uh, And the powers made two great lights the the greater lights rule the day and the lesser uh, light to rule the night he made the stars also so the great two lights or that's the sun and the moon 
But all of the other ones, it says, let there be light in the firmament of the heaven um, to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs. That's that's what that goes into, man. All of the planets, how they, they align, they move in different ways. You see what you know, you saw calls a comet or he might see something that looks like a galaxy, what he calls a galaxy or or uh, or uh, quasars and a different different phenomenon, different nebula you see out there moving. You know, he can't make sense of it, but. You know, those are those are signs and uh, in the heavens that we're going to get the full knowledge of in the kingdom. But the the major signs you're going to see, man, things like eclipses and whatnot. Um, and that's what this here reminds me of, because the heathen, they're not going to be able to understand them. But we're going to know that the more and more these strange signs we see in the heavens, the closer and closer our deliverance is, man. All right. And the final thing to prove that, I'm going to go back to Luke 21. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, Luke 21 and uh, 25. It says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. All right. And we definitely seeing that. And it says upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. So there's going to be all kind of weather events, all kind of things happening in the heavens. You can't explain between the sun, the moon, the stars. They're going to probably be things like that's going to look like apparitions. There's going to be there's going to be, uh, you know, there's going to be a reckoning, man. There's going to come a day where all of this bullshit Esau's been feeding you about how he knows astronomy very well and all of that eventually that's that's getting ready to be uh to be utterly crushed the wisdom of this world is getting ready to be shit on okay and and completely confounded verse 26 it says men's heart failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth so these things are going to be frightening man you know this spiral you're going to see, imagine seeing a big ass spiral like that the whole size of the united states and it's it's you know, you seeing thunders and, and lightning and different different kinds of things like that, man. <laughs> People are going to wig the hell out, man. They're not going to know what's going on. All right. And that's going to be a beautiful thing. It says, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. It says, and then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud with great power and glory. OK, so that's how we know that that's going to be a sick, a signal, a signifier that we're getting ready to be delivered because these things would happen before you have a shower will return, man. And we're praying at that this year that we get the hell out of here, man. Cause, cause I don't know about you brothers, man. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. You know, the more and more signs we see, the more and more your faith gets boosted and the more vexed you are having to, you know, having to work a job and, and, and going back and to deal with these heathen and Esau, man, you know? So, um, I just wanted to get that real quick. Uh, with that, uh, I'm gonna say call hello Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rachak with Dash Wa Abba Baba Shalom.